Hello, Rebels. Theoretically, we are, we are all masters of the universe when it comes to narcissism. Oh, we've done all that studying, all that listening, and uh, we think we know it all. And we think, now I'm strong, and I can, I can manage the narcissist. I can manage the whole situation. But practically, this is the thing. And I'm about to get in the roller coaster of the whole deal here. So this week, I'm uh, expecting all members of the family, meaning family. I have my mother here, so that's one, the narcissist. Have my father here, uh, with his son, my half brother, <clears throat> and uh, my sister is coming, with her husband. I haven't talked much about that case, but uh, because I don't want to get it out there, dealing with the whole problem with my mother, and on top of that. Today I got my first guest, since we have guest house houses, I got my first customer, a family of uh, uh, the daughter, the mother and the father, the father, sweetest guy, the daughter who seems to be completely not knowing how to handle this and thinking, believing that she's made a big mistake to go on holiday with the parents, but mostly the mother, and the pain, the, the pain in the ass, the mother, who from the first second I saw them, I just got it. I just got the vibes, I just got all the red flags all together. So it's very funny because um, a year ago, two years ago, I would not have, I would not have made the um, assumption that she is a narcissist, but she had all the red, red flag flags really. From the moment I met them, I went to meet them down the square. She started complaining. So there's a few steps to get to the houses and she was already complaining and I got I got the the daughter who was walking with me in front she was like saying between her teeth oh no she's going to break our balls oh there she goes complaining again and all that and I kind of smiled inside saying mm -hmm. um let's see what's all that's all about anyway when we got to the houses, there's like about 15 steps, like most villages in Greece. You have to get, go a few steps. They're not difficult steps, but anyway. And uh, when we got to the house, she was like, and which way is the beach? And I said, well, you go on the main road and it's about four minutes to the beach. Is that downhill? And I was like, well, a little bit, but not really. So uh, it's on the road. It's a straight road. You go to the beach. And she was like, yeah, yeah, okay, I see. Uh, so there's not going to be beach for me either. And no walks in the village. Because I'm not getting up these steps. So I'm going to be staying at the house all time, all the time. And the uh, husband was trying to tell her, well, no, they're not so difficult and all that. Well, I had an operation and, I, I, and I, I'm not supposed to be out of bed yet. And it's like... If they took her on holiday to Greece, she was probably able to go get, to get out of bed and go on holiday. Otherwise, you know, they, I'm sure they would have left her there. But she's she seemed to be a good moaner, a good complainer. And um, <clears throat> the daughter was like, you know, kind of, I'm sorry, I'm sorry and all that. And I said, don't worry, I've got one of those too. <laughs> I've got one of those too. You know, don't worry, I'm used to it. I've got one of those too. It's always so much easier to handle other people's narcissists than your own, you know. 
Um, so I said, it's okay. Look, and if you have a problem, you know, I can, I will go together. I said, I'll help you find a hotel. I even tried and tell, tell the old lady, the old bag. <laughs> I was like, uh, look, I'll take you to the house. If you don't like the house, don't worry at all. You want to, you want to find a hotel with the, right on the sea next to the beach? I said, but you know. It's a village, and if you're close to the sea, that means you're going to be away from the village. And if you're in the village, it's going to be difficult to go to the sea. Either way, you're going to have to, you know, deal with the steps, with some steps, with some steps. Um, and she was like, she didn't seem to know what she wanted more. And so she got into the house. There's no problem, really. I will help you find the better, best place for you if you don't like it and uh, but no of course we've booked and all that i said there's no problem we can just call airbnb and uh because i work through airbnb and uh we we canceled the reservation and uh we told them that it was not suitable for you and all that yeah but you're gonna lose i don't care i said as long as you're happy you know and i went to the girl and i said as long as your mother is happy because if she's not happy neither of you are gonna be happy you know uh, she's gonna make your life a hell, a living hell. She said, I know, I know, I know. But I think anywhere we go, she will. <laughs> it was very funny. But, um, so we get into the house and she went like straight, okay, let's go and have a look at the kitchen. What's in the kitchen? And, um, the daughter said, oh, there she goes again. I said, well, and she goes, oh, okay, I see microwave and I see the um, kitchen what do you call it, stove, whatever, um, was a grill. And I, well, we don't have a grill. Uh, and she says, there's no grill. So, and she turns to her daughter, so what do we do? Do we take it, take it or we, do we go and find another one? And the daughter said, well, well we're here, we've booked here, so we're going to stay here. And what do you want a grill for, you know? A grill is not something you want to gonna grill every day anyway, so it doesn't matter if there's no grill. Well, I thought you said so. She kind of threw it on the daughter. I thought you said that it would be nice if you, that you, uh, it would be nice to have a grill. I said, yeah, it would be nice if they had a grill, but I'm not going to die if there's no grill. And um, well, I don't know. We'll have to decide. Uh, well, there's no decision to take. The daughter says we're here, and I said again. I said there is no problem. If you're not happy, I will t take you and help you find the ideal place. Um, the father and the daughter were like, "Yeah, oh, that's so nice of you and all that." And but don't worry, we're fine. We're gonna be fine. And all. of course, the daughter goes straight for her packet packet of cigarettes, and she goes outside to smoke a cigarette. And she's like, "Why did I do that? You know, why did I go on holiday with them?" And I said, "Relax. You know, it's the first day. It's just arrived. She needs time to adjust, and I'm sure it will be okay. You know." I said, and like I said, at the worst, we can go looking for something else. And uh, oh, she's like that. I don't think she's going to think. She, she's not happy about anything, you know. She's always complaining about everything. I said, I know. Ten things good to look at. They're going to focus on the one negative thing. This is how they are, I said. It was kind of insinuating, you know. I, I'm sure the woman didn't know anything about narcissism, doesn't know anything about narcissism. She just think she has a pain in the ass of a mother, that's all. But um, I think we're going to have the opportunity to talk about that with the, the woman who's about my age, she's about in her 50s. And... Oh, it's crazy," she said. And then, all, uh, on top of that, I have to go to go and have to listen to their their bickering as a couple, their couple problems and all that. I said, "Yeah, of course." Um, but it, it's very funny. So, but the funny thing about me is that from the moment that this woman stepped foot in the complex, uh, the complex is like little house one next to another. You know, I was starting to stress about anything. I mean, the neighbors that putting, uh, he had to hang some frames today and he politely asked him, do you have customers? Can I, you know, do a few holes on the wall, in the wall? And I said, yeah, do them now. So I had to go and tell the neighbor, you know, stop it, stop it. <laughs> this is a crazy woman. <laughs> I said, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to stop it. Don't make any more noise. And then the dog of the neighbors was uh, barking and I was like, what is this dog barking? And I was... And she got me stressed. I mean, she's not even my mother. Like, 
<laughs> okay, she's a customer, but still she got me stressed. And the other thing I realize it, and I'm sure the woman is going to complain because it's the daughter that made the booking. So for sure, and this will be to prove because it's the first day and they're staying for 10 days if they stay. I really do hope they're going to have they're going to want to move somewhere else. Um, 10 days, I'm going to be totally stressed about every little noise, you know, kids playing uh, in the streets or the dog barking next door or whatever, you know, it's going to be everything. And crazy, crazy. But this is going to be, um, this is going to be my test drive. I consider this as my test drive. I gonna, I'm going to keep you posted on what is going to happen this week. Because there's loads of things that are going to happen. And I hope that all the... I'm going to be as good at managing it practically as I am theoretically. Uh, we'll keep you posted, guys. This is going to be a hell of a week for me. Bye.